to pressure bleed the brakes. The first one thing you want to do is uh, make sure you're clean all around the brake, especially around this uh, fill drain plug down at the bottom. I have a garden sprayer with an adapter on it. It's filled with 5606. I keep a screw in the end so that no dirt or air can get into the system. And I take that off. Okay. Now, I pump this up a little bit. Doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. And now what I'm going to do is turn on the valve until I get rid of all the bubbles in the line. Here comes, here it comes. There. It just came out. There's no bubbles in the line. And I plug that into this fitting at the bottom here. Now the fitting takes a quarter inch wrench. Quarter inch wrench. And you only need to open it about, oh, halfway maybe, half a turn. <clears throat> and then turn on the valve on your pressure bleeder. Now what will happen is this will leak no matter what. That hose on here is not a perfect fit. So you want to put a rag or something underneath there. Make sure that's on as best it can go. And then we open this a quarter inch and start bleeding. Start going the open direction. Make sure that stays on. So we open that a little bit. And we go and turn on this valve. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this, but I've got a hose in the top of the master brake cylinder. The left one comes out to this bottle here. And when I pressure bleed, I can see the bubbles coming up. And when I get no more bubbles, then I know that it's, it's full. Okay, the valve is open. It's pumping in fluid. So we just have to wait and watch until we see it coming out the hose. You can see it coming up the line there. So that means it's full. Okay, as soon as it's full at the other end, you turn off this valve. Close the, oops, got to go in the closed direction here. Close the bleed valve there. And pull off your hose, put my screw in, keep it clean, and this side is all pressure bled now. Now on most Cessna singles, there's a little yellow screw cap that goes onto the brake master cylinder that needs to be replaced. And do your mechanic a favor, or if you are a mechanic, do the next guy a favor, and only tighten that finger tight. I've never had one come undone. Um, if someone tightens it with a screwdriver real tight, sometimes it's very difficult to get access to it to get a screwdriver in there and get it loose. When pressure bleeding your brakes, you need to figure out why you need to do it. In this case, I had a fitting up here, this 90, wasn't quite tight enough and I believe I had a slight leak from there. Another reason for having to refill your reservoir would be as the brake pads wear um, the puck is going to have to the cylinder is going to have to come out more it'll take more volume to fill it up so that's a second reason why you might have to pressure bleed if you don't know why your master cylinder needs to be refilled you need to investigate that you could have a leak somewhere in the system you got to check check every fitting all the way back and look for leaks. Uh, it shouldn't evaporate. It's a closed system. Like I say, most likely it's the wear of the brake pads. One thing to note, if you change the brake pads, when you do that, you're going to have to compress the puck 
and that will overfill the reservoir. So anytime you're going to work on the, the brake cylinder down here, make sure you open up that plug up there and do like I did and put a hose coming out of it or put a rag around it to catch it because you'll make it overflow and then after you get the new brake pads in everything and compressed you'll have to pressure bleed again.